How good is the fact that now we can do inference with our large language models with just a single Java file? This repo, llama3.java, lets us do exactly that. With the help of a single Java file, we can do inference in instruct mode and in chat mode with our large language models. For this example, we will be using Llama 3 model. And if you have been following my channel, we already did with Llama 2 many months back. Anyway, in this video, I will be starting from scratch. We will do all the installation prerequisites and then we will do this inference. I will also drop the link to this GitHub repo in video's description. Let me take you to my local system where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I am using one GPU card of 22 GB of VRAM. You don't need that much GPU VRAM, 16 GB should be fine because we will be using a quantized version of the model. Let me clear the screen. Before we proceed further, there are few prerequisites which you need to make sure you have. First up, let's update the whole operating system or refresh your repositories in Ubuntu. It shouldn't take too long, that is done. Let me clear the screen. And now make sure that you have Java, OpenJDK version or Java version, at least 21 plus installed. If you don't have it, make sure you install it by using this command, which is sudo apt install openjdk-21 jdk. I already have it installed, so let me show you my java version so you can see i am running this 21.02 version which is sort of the latest at the moment that is done another thing which i really wanted to show you is this magic utility called as jbank jbank makes it real treat and easy to create edit and run self-contained source only java programs with lot of ease and you will see shortly also, if you are a Java developer, I would highly suggest that you have a look at this JBank. I am more than sure you won't be disappointed. So let me take you back to my terminal. And then in order to install JBank, all you need to do is to run this command, which downloads the JBank from um, its website by using curl utility. And then it runs the initial setup. I already have done it. so I'm not going to do it again. So up till now you have met all the prerequisites. Next up, let's create a new directory called as llama3. Let's cd to that directory. Let's clear the screen. And now here we are going to download our model from the hugging face by using the familiar curl command. Also make sure that you are downloading the pure Q4, not the KM, KS and those quantized level because they might be a bit polluted. We just need this Q4 because it contains the proper vectors of it and there is a bit of a science there. So let me run it and then I will try to describe a few more features. And this command is going to download this model. The model is being downloaded and you can see the size um, is just close to I believe under 5 gigs so make sure you have that much space you can see the size in second column here so while it gets downloaded let me give you a bit more features of this llama 3 dot um, java so it is single file there are no dependencies to worry about also okay so <laughs> speed was really good today it has even downloaded it oh, awesome also uh, llama 3 is tokenized based on min bpe and it does the inference with group query attention or gqa and you can either go with q4 or q8 i would suggest go with q4 q8 is a bit heavier and then it has a simple cli which we will see shortly so download is done and you can see the size of this file which is around 4.3 gig and the size looks good to me now in this next step let's git clone that repo of llama3 just press enter here it is going to clone everything and then just for the sake of it i'm just going to move that model to uh, this new directory which is llama3.java and then let's go there let me clear the screen and then ls-ltr you see our llama3.java file is there and the quantized version is also there 
So this is all we needed to do in terms of setup and downloads. And in order to test it, all you need to do is to just give this command jbang llama 3java and dash dash help. And it is showing you that okay, so you can ignore this warning, that is fine, giving you some usage instructions there which model we are using and then are we using the instruct one or the chat one or the prompt system prompt and all that stuff you can even specify some of the hyper parameters like randomness of the response top p seat max tokens and that sort of stuff and it is also giving us some of the examples like this one so you can simply even just go in jbang lama 3 dot this 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 and then you can just simply um so first let's make sure this is our file name and then this is the file name so maybe just copy from here then you can simply give this name and then you can give it a prompt and that is all you need to do in order to um, use this model locally by uh, in the instruct mode by using this jbank so you see i ran it it is running it has passed it it has loaded the model and then it is giving you the response there you go okay then it is also giving you that how many tokens did it do just 2.8 tokens per second for the home machine for the contest version this is fine uh, and then if you want to do the chat with it you can probably do let me give you that command too let me clear the screen by the way now you can simply go with this one so here we are just doing jbang i needed to put j before bang so jbang lama 3.java model name system prompt is answered concisely and then we can chat with it so just press enter here is loading it load it and then now you can chat How are you doing today and then model is going to respond hopefully quickly let's wait for it i'm doing well you see i'm letting it run uh, just to make sure that you also see the speed so there you go so now you can ask it questions what is happiness let's wait for it to print the response and you can see that the response is fairly good happiness is a positive emotional state characterized by a feeling of joy and blah 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 and you can ask it write me a um, script to scrape a web page in python Let's see if it can write it. Let's wait for it to respond. Then you can see that it has started writing the script, which looks really good. Amazing stuff. So there you go. So it has printed out the whole script for us with proper commands. And then at towards the end of it, it is also giving us the synopsis of the code so pretty cool now you know how to do inference uh, in the instruct mode and the chat mode by using this single java file how good is that so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think um, very impressed by it i mean it is even better than the previous llama 2 one if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching